Hey guys, I'm Jordan West at Shirk Studios in Chicago here with Reverb. Um, today I want to teach you an awesome groove that I actually just found um, David Garibaldi kind of doing a little a, a video and explanation of where he draws his inspiration from as a drummer. And there's this beat called the King Kong beat that he talks about um, that was made famous I think in the 70s um, by a band called Redbone. And what's really cool is that it's got the same kind of creative weaving in and out sound of linear drumming, but with a few overlaps that make it really like tight and really, you know, the, the Garibaldi sound is kind of that layered but linear uh, thing. So let's start with the hi-hat part because this is kind of what the groove is built around. Um, it's, it's Latin inspired and what I really love about a lot of funk drumming, especially Garibaldi's, is you can always hear the Latin influence. Okay, so there's going to be um, a couple different ways that you can interpret uh, this groove with the snare drum part. So a really linear way to do it is just kind of fill in the cracks with the snare drum. So don't, you know, never play these two at the same time. So this is an example of a very linear way to play this. So that's cool, um, it's very linear, it's kind of very paradiddly, um, and that's a cool way to play it, but I love um, how Garibaldi kind of does it because he just adds a little ghost note with his left hand that overlaps with both the kick and, and the hi-hat, and it just sounds really cool, and it gives it kind of a characteristic Garibaldi thing. So if you want to do it in the layered way, this is how you would do it. That's more difficult, um, I think, um, but that's why I think it's so tasty and so cool. It's a really subtle difference, but to me kind of really gives it a, a really cool sound. So now we're gonna add in the kick drum. So you don't have to, to play this pattern, but this is kind of the one I'm sticking with for the purposes of teaching you. So what I really like to do um, is kind of put my right hand over here on the ride and then alternate my left hand between the hats and the snare drum. It's like a dimensional groove that way. Um, and it's not so static on you know, your hi-hat. But it's also cool if like, you want to play the groove on the hi-hat for your verses and then maybe on the chorus open up. And David also does something where he will play the right hand on the cowbell, which is a very like Garibaldi thing to do. Um, and that sounds awesome as well, but I don't have a cowbell. So we're just going to do the ride cymbal. So that was the King Kong beat um, that kind of inspired uh, Dave Garibaldi. I love learning it because I love learning what, what makes him kind of think about drums in a different way. Um, so please learn it yourself. Have a great time playing it. Um, check out my other videos on Reverb if you liked what you saw. And have a good one.